Hello everyone, it's me again, the Southern African World Bicycle Rider. Today I'm in Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. I haven't reverted to my um, old saying again, but I've got it now. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. I have with me here, guys, one of the legends of rugby union, Gary Tashman. Gary? Cheers, bro. Really appreciate nice your you time. Too. Thank you so much, mate. I had Brian Lima, I've now got Gary Tashman. Got to be just as high profile. Very grateful to you, Gary. I'm also a son of the soil of Zimbabwe, Rhodesian like yourself. Yeah. So it's wonderful to chat to you. And uh, we all know it's about rugby, guys. So I just want to ask Gary, give us one of your earliest memories of the game. Well, you know, I was the Super 10, I think it started in those days. Um, and I suppose it was playing against the, the Blues, because in those days it was 90% the All Blacks and coming up against one of the best players I've ever seen and played against, Jonah Loma, um, and uh, being run over by Jonah Loma, I think, uh, trying to tackle him, but uh, <laughs> not making much of an impact. So that was a, a, a wide opener to, to the super, super Rugby. Oh, wow, man. What a classic memory, being run over by Jonah Loma. We all know who he is. That's, that is, that's one you, you've got to say is... It's quite a first memory of, uh, one of your earliest memories of, of the game. Uh, Gary, what I'd also like to ask you, mate, is, as you say, John Alone, there's so many great players out there. Just off the top of your head, who would you consider to be, not necessarily the greatest player of all time, but the, the player that influenced you the most in your rugby career? Well, I, I always sort of look at it as, if I was selecting a team, who would I... Uh, put into that team first and uh, it would have to be uh, Henry Honeyball who to me was uh, um, such a, a solid, such a fantastic player, a guy that always gave 120% uh, as a captain he was so easy to you know, he, there was never issues with him, he wasn't a prima donna yes. he got on with the game and I think if you off, ask the All Blacks um, that played against him in those days, he was probably the most feared guy, uh, which is unusual for a fly half. Yes, absolutely. Um, but yeah, he was he, he was a top player. Uh, thanks for that, uh, Gary. Henry Honeyball, another local uh, South African and uh, Natal Sharks player. Uh, Gary, that's what, that's the thing with these snap interviews, just a little phone call there or, or someone brings a lawn mower, and yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But appreciate that, yeah. mate. Uh, I actually got Gary, I was here because I um, got him to sign one of my jerseys, guys, uh, 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 Newport Gwent Dragons. That was the swan song, would you call it, the end to Gary's uh, career with the Newport Gwent Dragons. Would you say that, Gary? Yes, yeah. I, uh, I wasn't involved in the 99 World Cup, so um, that was a bit of a disappointment to me, but uh, ended up, uh, there's this guy, <laughs> irritating. Um, that uh, I went across there for two years and uh, had a great two years, um, very different conditions, uh, but a club that has a big history. Absolutely. Um, they've beaten both the All Blacks and the Springboks, one of the few clubs yes. ever to have done that. So yes. They were trying to get it back on onto a, into a position where it used to be, and it was good to be part of. There were a lot of um, players from New Zealand, Australia, Fiji. Yes. Um, so we, we got together and yeah, it, went, it was a good two years. Wonderful, mate. It's wonderful to, to hear you know a bit about the heritage of the Gwent Dragons. You know, guys, there's the Clinically Scarlets uh, made a, a, a wonderful documentary how when, they, when, when we beat the All Blacks mm. in the early 70s, they didn't realize that the Gwent Dragons had done it maybe three or four years before them. Yeah. And uh, there was no documentary on that. What a wonderful side, the, the Gwent Dragons. And tell me something, Gary, did you stay in Kyleon in the f Roman fortress? Mm, or? No, we would visit there often. Yes. Um, my wife wanted to be closer to Cardiff, so okay. we were just outside of Cardiff and just came through every now and again. Yes, um, yes. But yeah, it was... You know, what I felt uh, uh, with, with that whole Newport scene, having come from South Africa where it's, it's a far bigger environment, you know, you're playing as a provincial, there you were a very intimate club and, uh, you know, we, we won the, the Principality Cup, which yes. was a, a first time for a long time and it, it meant so much to them. And because of that uh, intimacy and the, the, the close relationship you have with, 
with the local people, it was uh, it was fantastic. Oh, wonderful. I'm not going to take up too much more of your time, Gary. It's so great to, to speak about uh, uh, speak about the game in Wales. That's where my love for the game returned. And uh, I owe a lot to, to Wales for that. didn't get uh, much. I got my degree and I got the love for rugby. So I, I, I really appreciate you having that uh, chat, chat with me a little bit about the, the Gwent Dragons. And uh, just on closing, obviously we, we Sharks uh, fans, you, you were one of the most successful captains for the Sharks side and the Springboks. Uh, you won the Curry Cup and you took the Sharks to a Super Rugby final, which is uh, as good as it gets as far as the Sharks go. And uh, what I'd like to, to just ask you is, Gary, do you think this is their year? Can the Sharks uh, finally uh, win, win the Super Rugby title? Uh, they're definitely up there. Um, you know, a big thing with Super Rugby, I think, is, is the amount of injuries you pick up along the line. Um, you know, and that, that plays a huge role in whether you can, can win the competition or not. So hopefully, I know that uh, they've had one or two serious ones, like uh, Patrick Lambie, etc. But there's a lot of depth in the squad um, and there's a lot of good players. I certainly think we're going in the right direction. So be it this year or next year, provided we keep improving, um, I think, I think it's going to come. Gonna come yeah. Well, guys, yeah, let's hope it. We all know, Gary, the Sharks, Super 10 when we first came in, made the final loss to the Reds. Super 12 when you were there, mm. made the final loss to the Blues. Super 14, tragically lost to the Bulls. Super 15 lost to the Chiefs. Let's just hope we can win it before it becomes Super 16. <laughs> well, I hope so. And if uh, everyone's supporting, I'm sure they will. Gary, thank you so See much, you mate. Good luck Most grateful tables. for that. Thanks no, a lot. Enjoy. Appreciate that, no Gary. No problem.